Welcome to Cebu! This is what we came for. This is such a cool experience. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> the ground! This could be like our potential home, let's say. So it's our first full day here in Cebu. Our plan for today is to first go to Cologne Street, which is the oldest street, not only in Cebu, but in the Philippines. We've never taken a jeepney, which is obviously the most popular form of transport. We're literally gonna wait on the street. Hopefully a jeepney comes and it can take us straight to Cologne Street. I can't believe this is our first time taking a jeepney. I know, but we have to. I'm a little nervous. So many of our subscribers told us that it costs 8 to 15 peso, whereas a taxi costs you 300 peso. We've never done this, so we don't really know what the procedure is. Okay, we found one. Okay, here we go. officially made it onto our first GP ride ever and it's only a five to seven minute drive. Welcome to Cebu! We're in the streets. Let's... Ooh, I'm so excited for this thing. This is such a cool experience. This is obviously how people get around, so I'm so happy that we get to experience this. Yeah, we're like a part of it. It's so cool. This costs us 10 peso each for a seven minute trip that would have cost us around 200 if we took a taxi. Right, bye. Woo. Okay. What an experience! On Cologne. What I love about the jeepneys is that obviously you sit in rows, so each person passes their money along to the person that's in the front, and that person will give the money to the driver. It's amazing. It's busy in this part of town. We tend to put ourselves right in the middle of the hustle and bustle and this is the perfect place to do it. I mean this street, it's crowded, it really reminds me of Manila but there are so many different sides of Cebu that we are yet to uncover. We're right in it, it's so loud. The street is really busy and we can already tell that there's so much history here, right on this very street. And the reason we came to this part of town is this is where the first Spanish settlers came to the Philippines in around 1594. I love the hooting. Everywhere you go, they're just always hooting, obviously trying to pick someone up if they're a taxi or just letting people know that they're coming. like to just drop ourselves in the city just to get a real feel of what it's like. This way we can see what daily life is like for people living here in Cebu. Cebu is a province in the central Visayas region with Cebu city being the capital and there are over a million people living here but the interesting thing in this region they actually speak a different language called Cebuano and the word Cebu actually comes from the old Cebuano language meaning trade. It is still the hub of trade here in the central region and there's lots of businesses Lots of stalls, everyone selling fruit. I always find it fascinating to learn about the language, culture or demographics of the places that we go. But if there are any of the facts that I mentioned that are incorrect, please let me know in the comments below or any other interesting facts about Cebu and specifically Cebu City. One 
One thing we've noticed is just how many forms of transport they have here in Cebu. It's just so cool to see. So there's all these different sounds of different forms of transport. As we're walking through the old part of town, we can see that these businesses have been here for so many years and the central part of Cebu is seriously an urbanized city. But now we're gonna to head to a different part of town and kind of see the more new and modern side of Cebu. We just happened to make some friends on the street and we asked them, how do we get to the mall? Can we take the jeepney? And they said, yes, just follow us. So right now we're following them. This is what we've learned here in the Philippines. You just need to ask. Someone will always be kind enough to help you. Okay. You got an SMO? Yeah, 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 ah. SMO. Okay, thank you. So far this day has been so exciting. It's been so eventful, but we really enjoyed going to the oldest street here in Cebu. And honestly, the public transport here is like the best thing ever. So easy to get around. Honestly, we were taking taxis in Manila. We, we shouldn't have. We should have taken the GP. <laughs> We've learned. It's eventful. Bye bye. So we have now come to House of Legend, which is the most talked about restaurant here in Cebu. You guys have mentioned that if we come to Cebu, we must, must try the most spoken about dish, the most popular dish in Cebu, which is lechon. And lechon is suckling pig. It's usually roasted on a spit and it's got a caramelized outside with a very moist, soft, tasty, delicious inside. The House of Lechen is so popular. As soon as we got here, the tables are full. Everyone is ordering the famous Lechen. To start off, we got ourselves a bottomless iced tea. And it's kind of like a calamansi flavor. We're like in love with calamansi iced teas at the moment. What is gambas, ma'am? Gambas? Yes, ma'am. Gambas. Okay. Crispy kangkong, Cebu Express. Mm, that looks amazing. Let's try it. I think we've gone a little overboard. Look at this feast. <laughs> we've got a whole feast here. We've got, of course, the legendary lechon, which is sizzling, suckling, roasted pig. It just looks so juicy, tasty. It's got a crispy outside and it looks so yummy and delicious on the inside. And then we've got some corn gambas, which kind of looks like it's in a little like chutney sauce. Then we've got baked scallops and we've also got some chili cheese sticks. I don't know what this is, but it looks like a crispy leaf. <laughs> So this is Kang Kong, which kind of looks like a deep fried leaf. <laughs> Something that they have bought us, which we've never tried before, is called Cebu Express, which is string beans in coconut milk with onions as well. We've also got some garlic rice. Thank you so much for recommending this, because this looks amazing. You can totally see why House of Legend is so highly recommended. Doesn't this look incredible? Sizzling Lechen Sissi. One of the most highly recommended dishes here and it's actually kind of a mix of roasted pork and you're supposed to have it with some calamansi lime and it's mixed with some chili as well and a little bit of raw egg. This is definitely something we wanted to try here in the Philippines so I'm so happy we came here. We came for the lechon but yes. we ended up with... Oh so much variety of delicious food. Okay, the time has come. I'm going to finally try the famous lechon. It smells so good. Everything is warm and juicy, marinated, full of flavor. And they've given us a little uh, dipping sauce. You have to dip it in the vinegar. This is what we've learned. Mmm. The crunch. Mm. It's so soft. 
it just breaks off the bone. And it's a little salty. You can tell it's been roasted for a long time. It takes so many hours to marinate and perfect the lechon. And they've done that. We researched beforehand that if the lechon is very good, that means the person who made it is called a lechonero. Mm. So, a from legend of lechon. <laughs> a legend of lechon. I'm actually going to try the, the skin. The skin is actually quite uh, fatty and hard on the outside, almost caramelized. Mm. Can you hear the crunch? It's <laughs> very crunchy. It's so crunchy. The only word to describe this is juicy. And crunchy. <laughs> juicy and crunchy. I'm obsessed with the skin. Mm. I think if the lechon is good, the skin is even better. And it is. This is the kind of food that Chev and I like to eat. Juicy marinated meat with a sauce, a bit of spice. This is perfect for us. Next up I'm going to try the pork sisig. It's actually lechon sisig. And I'm supposed to sprinkle a bit of calamansi on. So I'm going to do that. And I've got this giant chili on as well. Good luck. It's kind of mixed with some, some raw egg too. Mm. It's spicy. <laughs> that chili was so big. Mm. Mm. It works so well with the chili, but you can taste the crispiness of the pork with the sourness and saltiness of the lime. The combination of flavors with the spicy, the egg, the pork all together mixes so well. It's like a power bomb in your mouth. And it's really tasty. It's a little different to the lechon because of all the extra flavor in. I can't believe this is actually our first time trying all of these delicacies, but I have to admit that Cebu is the right place to do it. I'm going to try the deep fried Kang Kong leaf, which is a little bit crazy to have a deep fried leaf. <laughs> it tastes like deep fried chips. This is so crazy to have a, a, leaf. <laughs> a leaf, but it tastes like chips, like you could just eat 50 of them. You could just buy a whole bag of them, yeah, dip well, in you, the sauce. And... It's got a whole lot here, so I hope you're hungry. I definitely think that our eyes were a little bit bigger than our stomachs today. We came here to try one thing and it did not disappoint. Was really some amazing lechon. We highly recommend if you haven't tried lechon here in Cebu, go and check out House of Lechon. We'll leave the link in the description below. I think we're just gonna walk off our lunch a little bit and we've actually come to the other side of Cebu, which is Ayala. But it's definitely a contrast to where we were this morning. You can see lots of beautifully designed buildings. It's a little bit more modern more picturesque, I would say. It's so crazy like how you can get Cologne Street this morning full of hustle and bustle, full of good vibes, and here it's like the total opposite. Everyone's super chilled out, calm quiet, and calm and collected, and kind of on the go, like you would see in any bustling city. <laughs> There are a lot more upscale buildings, office blocks and high-end shops in this part of town. This park is so cool and I actually think they have a whole lot of outdoor terraces where you can sit and have dinner. And there's a beautiful looking Starbucks here so I think we're going to take a look. We really get a good calm energy here in the city. It is not as crowded and busy as Manila, but it's not as relaxed as the island. So it's a good balance. This is the kind of place that I think Chev and I would really enjoy. I think this is the kind of place I could live in forever. This could be like a potential home, let's say. There's a market and live music here. So we're inside the mall now and they have all these beautiful terraces where you can sit, have a drink, have your dinner and enjoy the live music with a little open market. So I think we're going to go and check out one of those. Also everyone brings their dogs to the mall. We've never seen that before until we came to the Philippines and I love that. <laughs> 
what a cool day we've had such a like up and down we've got to see all aspects of Cebu and we're gonna see so much more in the next upcoming videos and what a way to kick off our adventures here in Cebu please don't forget to subscribe like and leave us a comment below if you enjoyed this video we think you'll really like this video up here and if not click on this video down here thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one